The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'd like to, uh, I'm especially grateful to the ranking member for allowing me uh, two minutes because he knows I'm rising in support of this bill. Uh, and I understand and completely agree uh, with uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Westerman, who is a dear friend and who does a wonderful job as a uh, ranking member in this committee. I understand his frustration with this process because this did come up quickly. There are a lot of unanswered questions about what this will mean, depending on what the Puerto Rican people will choose. Uh, and I agree with him when he said that America is a beacon of hope to the world uh, and is a light to the world. Uh, and I think that makes the case for why we should allow the Puerto Rican people to make their choice about uh, their own future. I've heard concerns on our side about economic issues taking on debt. Uh, I think this bill uh, will specifically address that. Puerto Rico, if it chooses to be a state, would, would, would keep the debt. And I would argue the opposite. I think we have given, you know, Puerto Rico has been a territory since 1898, 3.2 million American citizens. We have not provided them every tool we possibly can to ensure they can be prosperous. Now, I was grateful. I visited Puerto Rico. I have a large community in my uh, uh, district from Puerto Rico who have family. I visited after the hurricane. I was grateful for the support that uh, we were able to provide. But let's give every tool that we possibly can, include full citizenship in the United States of America, if that is what they choose, to be prosperous, to contribute uh, to the American economy. And I think, I think we can look at this as a net positive. It will be a net positive if indeed Puerto Rico uh, chooses to become the 51st state. So, uh, again, I'm grateful for the work of the ranking member and of the committee on this. It's not taken lightly to uh, disagree with him on a particular issue. There will be other steps the in this process. Time has expired. 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, yield the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. Thank you. Uh, there will be other steps in this process during which I hope uh, some of those real legitimate questions can be answered, but we should allow the Puerto Rican people to make their choice about their future. I know certainly uh, the uh, uh, Puerto Rican population who have families back in the community, this is what they're looking for. Uh, I'm proud to stand with them uh, and their family members uh, if they have the opportunity to freely determine the future of their beloved island. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back. Reserve. Gentleman from Arkansas.